everybody. It's uh, dealing with Overdrive Outdoors I'm here with Joe Mikes. Uh, we're out here. Uh, pressure's looking good. Uh, weather's looking good. We got some good cloud cover. We got some property that's never been hit before. Uh, we just hit one, and Bo Cephas and, and his dog T Bone uh, scared off the, the cows that were barking. Uh, we're over here going to a spot that's uh, pretty primo, so we hope we're able to get back to you guys here in just a little bit uh, with some dogs on camera. Let you know how it goes. I'll see you. All right, guys. We're uh, making our third set. This is our final set? Uh, possibly. We'll see how this one goes. Probably our final set. We'll see how it goes. Um, we... Uh, We've made three sets tonight. The first set, we had vocals, uh, had had them thought coming in, and then a neighbor's dog decided to uh, chase them off. And then the landowner, or the owner of the dog, decided to start screaming, looking for the dog. So <laughs> we had to abandon that one. Um, then the second one, like I said, we had vocals right off the bat and had one commit and got that one. Uh, so now we're going to hit the third spot and see what we can do. And this one here, we just uh, owned it here just across the road last night, and I had vocals. And we just got permission on this uh, side of the road. And this landowner, uh, they've had a couple of their cats come up missing. So, again, here we are, uh, Team Overdrive, you know, being Superman out here, helping out these uh, people with, with their coyotes that, that are taking over their, their property and stuff. So, hopefully we can help this landowner out like we helped the last one out. All right. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, we just successfully called in a coyote with... Uh, TT Pier Serenade um, came in at about 250 yards, cut across this field, and uh, started headed towards our downwind. Hit our downwind at about 160, and uh, started going away, and had to stop it and put a shot on her about 185. Dropped her. Uh, we're gonna go check it out, see what we got, and stay tuned. All right, fellas, let's go. Alrighty guys, let's go see what we got. Wonderful night tonight. Pressures 29.96. Moon's got some cloud cover, full moon tonight. And uh, we were using uh, the uh, Pulsar XD 50A thermal monocular for scanning and shot her with an NV960 LRF Pulsar night vision the uh, about, night snipe about. headlamp with the IR night snipe NS550 with the IR light bulb the good part about this property here we had the landowner call us and he was having problems with the Coyote's messing with his cattle and uh, actually killed one of his calves and ate it. Uh, so this is a good one. <clears throat> this is a good one to get going. Um, we had some more coming out, but this will definitely make a landowner happy and make the cattle less uh, susceptible to getting eaten. So good one to get. Just like a nice big dog. Let's see what we got. All right, guys. We uh, just came up on this one. <clears throat> Looks like a nice male. Looks like an older male. Um, real dark colors. Brown, some black across the back. Um, like I said, chatter out about. 180 yards coming into Tony Tebby Pear Serenade. She caught her, or he caught her downwind and uh, started going away and had to whistle at him and take the shot real quick. Was hoping to uh, get one out here for Dylan. But they uh, wanted to come in from behind us instead of in front of us. So, Dylan, what do you think? You have, 
Have a good time, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the best thing about this is is not just the hunting part, but also being able to help a, a farmer uh, take care of a problem he has. Uh, a lot of people wonder why we do this, and that's one of the biggest reasons. Uh, and that's what's good about this is now we can go back and show the farmer that uh, we're effective and that the uh, guys on Overdrive Outdoors are, are serious about helping the farmers and also enjoying what we're doing out here. I was about to say the farmer had a... Uh calf that was being born and they think that uh, coyotes got right on that calf before it was born because it was halfway gone before they uh, found it in the morning so call this one calf killer down have a good night guys <laughs>